12th Planet and Flinch. That was really fun. He came in and he, he came in with a swaggy beat. It just was, I don't know, it had this feel to it. And him and Monkey worked out, you know, they worked out parts basically. Um, and that's when I really had to come in and really arrange and he did some really weird stuff with Monkey playing flamingo guitar, but I had to take it out because it didn't work. So, you know, some of the some of the producers got it right away. Some of them didn't. Um, so they need a lot of direction. So I was telling, I was basically staring to a plan around, going, try this, try that, and uh, it was fun. It was fun for him. It was a learning experience for him, learning how to do regular, trying to create a song in the traditional sense with verses and choruses, and. Uh, we just came up with this really cool, swagged out, slow jam in it, and it inspired me to write um, way too far. It was just laid back, kind of R&B type, like melodies and with the high oohs, and I just felt that old, like Motown kind of feel. It was weird, but that's what it inspired me to do, and I hadn't done that before, and uh, it worked out great. And we were in the studio. I finished the verses and the choruses and we didn't have a, a bridge. So Downlink was there helping mix the record. I'm all bro, we need, a, we need a bridge, we need a bridge. So he came in there and he took what what uh, 12 Planet had and created the bridge. And then I go, it's not just, it's not right yet. So I grabbed uh, my sitar, it's a sitar guitar, and put that sitar line over the top and it just, that's my favorite breakdown in the whole album. Oh, Hey!